G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm pushing on with the H160 HHO generator, which is not working anymore. And I've taken the, uh, the tank out of it, the electrolyte tank. And, I mean, I tried cleaning it, you know, soaking some vinegar in there overnight, but it came out crystal clear, so it's not that and uh, well it's not working so the only thing we can do is cut it open and see what's inside this thing what's interesting is that you can see there's just two terminals that come through the tank in a rubber grommet and I've tried beating down on them couldn't move them you can't move them. I've tried lock, tight, lock nuts on there, trying to unscrew them. They don't unscrew. They're just not movable. On the bottom, there's <clears throat> just some tabs that lock it in place. But listen to this. Whatever's in there is floating around, which isn't a good sign. So I'd say that it's probably separated from these terminals, which is quite possible. There's no way to get in there. So I thought, well, all I can do is cut the base off on the bandsaw and see what we find. I mean, it's not working. It's, it's beyond help, really. I think it's a throwaway, totally throwaway item. And... Uh, I mean, even the way the tank's held in, it's just like little twist tabs, you know, really crappy way they've done it. You couldn't get anything cheaper and nastier. So, next move we slice the end of the tank off. Okay, it's coming out. So that's the, the way it is. So that's the, the set of plates. That's, uh, that's uh, just the container. So, there's four screws holding it together. Hmm. One out.
So you can see from this, the way it's built, it's totally non-repairable. And uh, it was a welded up unit. So, I mean, yeah, it's a throwaway item. And that's what it will be. And I reckon, I reckon this cell might be eaten away inside. We'll, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. The old coal trigger does the job. Oh, tough. Well, I've completely stripped down the uh, the HHO generator, the tank. And as you can see, it's not meant to be opened up. It's non-serviceable. And you can see what the problem is. The problem is residue, all this gunk in here. Have a look at that. All that build up. A little lot. Terrible. And on the end as well, look at it all. And the plates are all coated with gunk as well. I cut the bottom off just to see how they'd uh, handled the plates, what they'd done, and these are all separate. And it's meant for a high voltage system, 24 volts in this case, stainless steel plates. And yeah, the plates are all coated with stuff, oxidey, messy looking residue. I think half the problem with this is, I mean, I've always used distilled water or demineralized water. And I've always used uh, calcium hydroxide, which is what the unit came with and that will build up residue a bit it takes a long time it's done a lot of work i know but i think half the problem is that the bubbler uh anti suckback valve or you know sort of anti-siphon valve wasn't working and it sucked back the contents of the bubbler into the actual um, generator. That wouldn't be so bad because it's just uh, methylated spirits and uh, acetone, but I had been putting a borax in there as recommended by a jeweler who commented on it, and that's what they use. And I think the borax is what's caused all this pollution. So yeah, first thing to do is check that your anti-suction anti back valve isn't jammed because the liquid can go either way. It can go from the electrolyte tank into the bubbler, uh, overfill the bubbler, or it can suck back from the bubbler into the tank. Generally it goes the other way. Generally it, it, it fills up the bubbler, in which case that wouldn't be a major cause of pollution. So, you know, that's a hell of a lot, isn't it? So anyway, what it comes down to is, it's not serviceable. If uh, it gets clogged up or dirty, you can't clean it. And it's basically a throwaway item. Which is a shame, really. But that's the way they've done it. So, yeah. At least you know what's inside of these little devils now. I've always been curious. So as for what's left over, what's well, got a good power supply, it's got a uh, you know, 24 volt high amperage output power supply, which could be useful for something, well it could be useful for um, 
the rusting metal so sure we, uh, you know electrolysis but um, yeah there's not a lot else a fan and that's about it all right well we've been there done that we know what's uh, what's going on it's all a case of crap <laughs> lots of crap all right i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>